Hey, welcome to this video. So today I'm going to be talking about my my first kind of year on Amazon KDP. Um, and the things I'm going to talk about today are the books that I have made. So discussing what they are, uh, time and effort that's been involved in doing doing that, creating those books, uh, the resources I utilize to make my books, what I have spent to make my books, the results, so my earnings, and also what I have learned. Uh, my plan for the future and some advice for you if you should want any. Okay, so starting with the books that I have made. So I currently have 52 books live on Amazon and one that is under review. So the books that I've made, I've made 16 colouring books, four picture books, 23 notebooks, two very simple journals and then two guided journals which have a lot more content, three quotes books, one cookbook and one log book. So if we have a look at the types of books that sell for me, um, nearly 50% of my sales come from those colouring books and I price my colouring books at $9.99 each. 20% of all of my sales are coming from that one cookbook, which is by far my highest content book and was the most hardest to make. Um, if you think about recipe creation, cooking, photographing, uh, compiling everything together, yeah, it was huge. It was a huge amount of time and effort but well worth it because I sell that book every single month and it's made me the most money so far. The guided journal priced at $12.99. Every single page is unique. It was, it took me a long time to make that one. Again, lots of uh, research and effort went into that guided journal and that one sells every month as well. Uh, picture books, I charged those at $9.99. Now they were very easy to make and super, super simple. I've got Six, four or six of those um, and they're priced at $9.99 and then notebooks priced at $7.99 I also get about 12% of my sales from notebooks as well and notebooks let's see yeah it was 23 of those I've got currently live online so thinking about the time and effort that is involved in making the books that I have made I have first got to explain the timeline because it has not been consistent for me whatsoever. September 2021, I uploaded one book just to kind of experiment just for, I don't know, I did, was not thinking, oh, I'm going to start KDP. I just uploaded one book. Um, and weirdly, it kind of just started selling. Um, it did quite well. In fact, it's my most sold book to date. It sells every single week and it's quite quite crazy really because I did not know what I was doing. But yeah, so I uploaded one book, but it wasn't until March 2022, what's that, five, six months later, that I thought maybe I should do something about this and go back to KDP. My first, very first video on this channel talks all about that and the sales that I made and how kind of quite crazy it was. So March 2022, my first book had then sold 142 copies. Uh, which is quite a lot, I think, considering I did the most basic book. Uh, it was a colouring book. So I added seven more books in March. Then April and May, I kind of spent a bit more time um, and I added 43 books then. Lots of those were notebooks though and, and low sort of low content, like a log book and a journal that had bugger all in it. So there's, there's not a lot going on there, but I added 43 books, but that is also, it was May when I made that cookbook. That's the one that took all of my time and energy. And then nothing. Last 10 months I've not published. And now I've just published one more book, which is in review right now. So looking at the kind of time that this has taken me, I would say that first book about five hours, never done it before, didn't know what I was doing, made a coloring book, did it in Canva. Like I said, it still sells all the time. March 2022, so I, uh, yeah, another seven books, about 20 hours, I'd say. Again, they were, that's when I did those like picture books um, and I did another couple of coloring books trying to replicate that first one's success, but that didn't happen. April and May, I added 42 books, I think about 60 hours, but probably half of that was just on the cookbook. And that's also when I made that guided journal, which did take a lot of time as well. That that one book as well probably took eight-ish hours because every single page is unique. Um, and then my recent book, apart from the cookbook, has taken me the longest. I've put a lot of love into this newest book, so I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be a winner. So as you can see, I have not been consistent and I really haven't had a game plan at all. In fact, 10 months without publishing is not really recommended. So Remember, every single book that you put up on KDP is going to be an asset. 
obviously they're not all going to sell but the ones that are you know you're thinking about them as small little mini assets that you're uploading online that can make you money month after month after month we hope so this is really what's exciting about things like amazon kdp is because you just never know when you're going to hit that next good seller and if you continue to strive to make your books good then you know you you will make sales and it is very exciting to find out you know when is the next one coming that's going to be really really good for me so thinking about the resources that i utilize so how i actually do my research i'm doing it all on amazon doing all my keyword research on amazon i've followed lots of brilliant youtubers and kind of took snippets of advice from different people as to how research can be done and figured out my own sort of way that I like to do it. So I'm doing it all on Amazon and I'm absolutely utilizing the help from the self-publishing titans. Um, I absolutely love those guys. It's a, it's a husband and wife team. They've got a brilliant YouTube channel. They've got a great website. They have created free tools, um, which are Chrome extensions. And they have fairly recently released a masterclass course, which I have also bought. So I really have been under their umbrella, really, and using all of their resources, paid and free, um, because they're doing very well. And I love their approach and they're very easy to understand and very helpful people as well. So the publishing masterclass course is brilliant. And I really bought that because I wanted to learn. I wanted to to take this to the next level moving forward from today. Obviously, as you can see in the past, I've not really taken it seriously. And I want to do that now, I want to take it seriously. I want to utilize ads. I and I have a no idea how to do ads. So I wanted to get some really solid advice from somebody who knows what they're talking about. And there's a very big ad resource in the masterclass course that they provide. But that's not the only thing I've learned through taking their course. There's so much good information in there. And there's a link to the course down below if you are someone that is interested in finding out more about the self-publishing titans. Um, I also use DS Amazon Quick View, which just is another free Chrome extension and it just provides more information on the actual Amazon sales page for you to see how other books are performing. Um, and in terms of the actual creation, the book creation, I have been making my books solely myself and I have been using Canva Pro and Paint.net um, in combination. Uh, I love Canva Pro. I think it is amazing. It's so intuitive and I've, I've paid for the Pro for about four years now because um, I just, I love it. I love it and I just don't want any of the features locked out. So I pay for the Pro and I find it worth it. I talk about the money and how much these things cost in a, in a future slide coming up. Paint.net's free. Um, as much as Canva Pro is awesome, it definitely does have some limitations um, and paint.net is where, you know, can fill those gaps. So paint.net is something that I've recently learned and it is brilliant. So it's a design tool. There is a little bit of a learning curve with it, but there is probably with most decent design software. I have recently bought into Creative Fabrica. Just heard so many good things about it from other YouTubers that I thought I'm going to give it a go and they recently dropped their price. So I thought, yeah, I'm gonna gonna dive in and because I wanna take KDP more seriously. So I've bought Creative Fabrica now and I am loving the fonts in there. I haven't even utilized their website at all. It's huge, but I'm loving the fonts, thousands and thousands and thousands of fonts. And you know that you're safe, that they are royalty. You know, you can, you can earn royalties while using their fonts. They've got creative license. Creative Fabrica, again, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant software. And again, I link down below if you are interested. I use Big JPEG, which is an AI software that allows you to take images, increase their quality so that they can, you can blow them up and they're, they're better, higher quality. I use PDF Merge, very self-explanatory, but yeah, just merging PDFs together so that, and then AI, so Mid Journey and ChatGPT, I have just scratched the surface, but I have used them and love them. So what have I spent on making my 52 books? So as I said, I've always had Canva Pro. I love it. I don't just use it for this, I use it for other things. So for me, it's definitely worth paying for. And like I said, I don't like to be locked out of any of the features. Uh, I think you pay annually, but monthly it works out at about a 25 pounds, probably about nine, 50, $10. dollars uh, Creative Fabrica is, has come down in price. That's about five pounds 80 a month. 
Um, again, it's an annual payment though. I believe you can pay monthly, I don't know, but that's what, $7 or something? So really, really good price. You know, you've got access to so much stuff in there that you can use in your books. Uh, Mid Journey, I did pay to get some images out of there. Well worth it, I can imagine paying more. A big JPEG was five pounds, but that will last me way more than a month because you get 200 images for like, 10 pounds or something. And then my one-off course, which was around 80 pounds after the translation of funds, which is I think $95. That's obviously a one-off cost. So it's not expensive to have a KDP account. There's not many businesses that you can run for this low amount of money. And of course, all of these are optional. You don't have to pay for any of this stuff, but tools are useful, let's be honest. So results and what I have learned so far. So these 52 books, the lifetime royalties are 1,249 pounds and 87 pence. So perhaps not impressive at all. I don't know, maybe that's good, maybe that's bad. I really actually don't know. I know a lot of people are making a hell of a lot more than that, certainly even monthly. But I don't feel like I've even really gotten started. I have been focusing on lots of other things. I have not been focusing on this. Like I said, I haven't published anything for 10 months straight. So it's certainly not been a focus of mine. Um, and I have not done anything consistently and I have not really sort of given it my all. So I'm happy with that. I am very happy with that because I do feel like that is passive income. I did a few hours back in 2022 and you know this money has been trickling through into my account which is very nice and I'm very very grateful and going forward I can see this really increasing because I really do want to up my game with Amazon KDP. So the lessons that I have learned is that I love KDP. I think it's a really brilliant creative outlet and I feel like I am a creative person so I just I love it and I, it's been calling me back for a while now. Um, I think that low, low or no content books are not fulfilling to make. They do not satisfy me and they do not generate the sales that I want. I believe effort is rewarded on Amazon. So I am going to put way more effort into fewer books. Um, I'm going to outsource the stuff that I'm rubbish at so that I can make those high content books possible because I can't do a lot of the stuff that I would love to do. So outsourcing is something that I will look forward to in the future. Um, and that KDP is not saturated, but by solely making notebooks, that might not bring your dreams to reality. So my plan for the future is basically the overarching goal is to focus on KDP for the next one to three years and to treat it like a real business and not just flippantly, occasionally playing around on it. I wanna build a brand out of one niche and I've chosen my one niche and it's where I feel comfortable with making more and more books. So that is my overarching goal. And I feel that I have been the kind of person that dabbles here, dabbles there, does a bit of this, does a bit of that, flitters about all over the internet. And that's why I'm not getting anywhere. And I need to focus and work on one thing and I've chosen KDP. So I'm gonna build this brand. I'm gonna build a website and an email list. I feel that those are gonna be so beneficial. And if you've got a niche and a, a topic or a certain client that is going to benefit from your type of books, then you can build a brand. If you're all over the place and you're in 17 different niches, that would be very, very difficult. So I'm gonna create fewer but higher quality books and I'm gonna utilize ads because I do think they are gonna be a big part of the game plan to make my books get to where I want them to get. And I'm gonna document this journey on YouTube. So feel free to subscribe and come along with me. Also, I have a little bit of advice if you might want some, you might not and you might wanna switch off right now. <laughs> but my advice would be to slow down Challenge yourself to make each book better than the last. Spend more time on the back end stuff like your research, your keywords, your A plus content, your book description, making awesome covers. This kind of stuff can take as much time as making the book, if not more, because it is, it's, you know, you've got to look at the big picture and it isn't just the book that sells. It's all of this other stuff that helps to make your book sell. And of course, ads as well, if you wanna go down that path. So videos coming up from me, this is not an exclusive list, but the, these are some of the topics that you will find on my channel if you'd like to join me. So I wanna make a video about the types of books that you can make because there are so many, and I think there are a lot of book types that people just overlook and don't realize that they can make books in. My Amazon ads journey, because I'm just starting that the end of this month or beginning of next month and I want to document that too because that's a completely new thing to me and with the help of the self-publishing titans course I'm going to be able to do it. 
um, software reviews, what's good, what's not, what I continue to pay for, what I don't. I'm also thinking about joining BookBolt and giving them a go too because I've heard good things. Uh, using AI, the mid journey, chat GPT. I want to talk about that on my channel as well. And my experiences with outsourcing content creation, a very scary area for me to let go of control like that. But as I keep saying, I can't do it all. So I think that will be the way to go. So thank you very much for joining me today. And here are some more videos that I have made in the past. If you would like to watch them, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.